people who first got to him and interviewed him, championing him for, his, for this very rough-hewn, low-budget aesthetic. As this renegade who kind of turned his nose to Hollywood, his, that aspect of the, the accursed. The whole idea of giving your soul, giving, making a pact with the devil for success. And in a sense, that's what you do in Hollywood, isn't it? If you could do all of these crazy things in a B-movie, or in the case of Ulmer, endless subversions of Hollywood conventions. Because you were at a place where nobody gave a damn what you did as long as you got it in the can on time. He was doing always preparation, shooting, and editing, and music uh, simultaneously on three pictures. It, it served a serious social purpose, and it may well have been seen by more people than any of his other films. You show that, you know, that less is more, and that you can get something out of nothing. And those are, those are the object lessons of Homer's career. It was, it was like living in a foreign country. They all came and they financed the making of the picture. He was an extremely cultured man, very well versed in the arts. And he came from that extremely remote part of film history now, which was German Expressionism. So you see other films made by his colleagues working at PRC or other studios, and you see the holes. With Almer, there's always this sense that at least there's a certain craft at work. It was an unbelievable time to make pictures.